Welcome to Illustrate to Educate. Please subscribe and ring the bell for more simple and objective videos on topics that matter. In this video, we're going to look at a simple explanation of militarism, as well as the arguments for and against militarism. Militarism is a political ideology that emphasizes the importance of military power and values in the functioning and development of a society. It is characterized by a strong emphasis on military preparedness and the glorification of military virtues, such as bravery and loyalty. Militarism often involves the expansion of military forces and the acquisition of military resources, as well as the use of military force to achieve national objectives. Militarism can be seen as a form of nationalism, as it often involves the promotion of national pride and the defense of national interests. It can also be associated with authoritarianism, as it often involves the concentration of power in the hands of military leaders or regimes. Militarism has been a significant force in the politics and history of many countries to varying degrees, including the United States, Russia, and China, and it has been the cause of numerous conflicts and wars. Here are some examples of countries that have implemented militarism. The first example is Nazi Germany. Under the leadership of Adolf Hitler, Nazi Germany implemented a policy of militarism and aggression, leading to the outbreak of World War II. Hitler and the Nazi party glorified military values and sought to build a strong military for the purpose of expanding German territory and achieving world domination. Next is Fascist Italy, led by Benito Mussolini, who also implemented a policy of militarism and aggression, leading to its involvement in World War II. The fascist regime glorified military values and sought to build a strong military to achieve national objectives. Third is Imperial Japan. Imperial Japan implemented a policy of militarism and expansionism, leading to its involvement in World War II. The Japanese military played a significant role in the governance of the country, and military values were promoted by the government. Lastly is North Korea. North Korea is an authoritarian regime that has implemented a policy of militarism and maintains a large military force. Military values are promoted by the government and the military plays a significant role in the country's governance. When looking at the pros and cons of militarism, those who argue for militarism say that it is necessary for the defense of a nation and the protection of its citizens. A strong military can deter potential threats and provide security in times of conflict. Next, they point to militarism as being a source of national pride and unity, as it often involves the promotion of national values and the defense of national interests. Lastly, they argue that militarism leads to economic opportunities because military spending can create jobs and stimulate economic growth, particularly in industries related to defense and military technology. Those who argue against militarism say that it can lead to an increased likelihood of conflict and war, as it often involves the use of military force to achieve national objectives. This can result in loss of life, destruction, and destabilization. They also argue that militarism can lead to human rights abuses, particularly in situations where military leaders or regimes have unchecked power. Next, they point to the economic costs of militarism and point out that military spending can be a significant burden on a nation's economy, diverting resources away from other priorities such as healthcare, education, and infrastructure. Lastly, they point to the erosion or loss of civil liberties as national security concerns may be used to justify the curtailment of individual rights. What are your thoughts on militarism? Feel free to comment below, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to Illustrate to Educate to support more simple and objective videos on topics that matter.